Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. It is a blessing. It is an honor to come and read the charts for you. So we need to talk about the new moon that's happening in the sign of Cancer. This is going to be July 17th, roughly around 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. I have the charts pulled up on my right. I have my notes down on my left and we are going to be diving right in. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. This is the space to ground, grow, and connect with magic and intention. May this video inspire you to come home to yourself and remind you of your own magic within. May your path be protected, your heart be lifted, and peace surround you. May the message reach you with divine timing. Now grab your favorite tea, coffee, and let's dive right in. So first things first, I wanna set an intention for this video. I'm really big on setting intention, making sure that the air, the space is clear. My intention is that this message reaches you with perfect divine timing, that our angels, our guides, that they speak to us individually, that we get the discernment, the clarity that is that it is that we need with this time that is that we have together. I'm also setting the intention that you are protected. I'm setting the intention for love, beauty, blessing, and abundance. All of those things surround you now, and that everything that we talk about in today's video, that it bring you into a space of higher peace because you deserve that. Now, having said that, this new moon in a sign of Cancer is has the potential to be a bit triggering. And it's not so much what is happening in the present, it's what is coming up from the past that's resurfacing into your present now. Now, new moons are times where we get to implement change, go to our altars, go to the earth, go to ourselves, our sacred spaces, and talk to ourselves, talk to the angels and the guides and say, listen, this is what it is that I see and feel for myself now. So new moons are full of this beautiful potential. Having said that, this new moon has a lot of energy that's squaring off and those energies are retrograde, meaning like they're bringing up energy from the past. And also the rest of the planets are preparing to go retrograde. That is so significant to say because even though the new moon is one afternoon, one day, the energy of this is going to bleed out and we're going to feel it longer than just those 24 hours. So this is important for you to really sit with it, to grasp it, to understand all of what these, what's going on with these planets because what's happening up there is impacting us here on Earth. My goal is to make sure that you don't get so uprooted out of your own power, out of your own magic, that you get caught in this current and you are getting tossed around by it instead of grounding yourself in the divine, grounding yourself in your power and using these energies for your highest and greatest good. And that's essentially, I hope, why we're all here. So like I said, the new moon is full of potential. There's so much that you can do with this. If you're going to set new intentions for things that you want to grow, to manifest, absolutely do that. I support that tenfold. Having said that though, the energy that is around us that we are going to be feeling most of you guys are already feeling this, is these challenging feelings, thoughts, stuff of the past, believe it or not, even if you're not fully aware that it's coming from the past, it's interwoven into our past beliefs, our past process, how we in the past would show up or how we would normally react to certain things. All of those energies are being challenged right now. Now, cancer is known for being emotionally... I don't say reactive, but stirring into fight, like protect it and, and move as a leader from the space of the heart. And we don't even see cancer for that because if you sit on the internet long enough you're and you're looking at astrological tweets and memes, everyone is so quick to call cancer a crybaby. But the truth is, is that Cancer's energy is so strong. It's so powerful. It's actually one of the cardinal signs in our zodiac sign. So it's one of the leaders of the zodiac. It says, follow me. My heart is leading us to the right, the way that we need to go. And even the tears that it is that fall from our faces or the tears that we need to express or the sweat and the blood and the tears that come out of our body are reflections of energy that's being released that needs to be released that we might have been holding on to and cancer is the leader that allows that to happen it it will 
I don't want to say instigate, but it will begin to bring on certain circumstances and energies to allow us to release so that we can feel what we need to feel, change what we need to change, adjust what we need to adjust, and fall deeper into our higher selves, especially when it comes to our emotional bodies. So as we know, cancer is big time on supportive of family, of nurturing, of children, of creation, of how we feel safe and supported and nurtured here on this earth. So this is a wonderful time, of course, to incorporate those intentions into your every day. So let's say you've been feeling depleted. Let's say you feel that you've been taken advantage of. Let's say you feel drained. This is the new moon to begin to set intention that you change those patterns or you change that belief system that got you to that place where you were depleted in the very beginning. So it's time for you to start to break free of those cycles and, and start something new. Now, I say that and it sounds easier. It's going to be way easier said than done because, again, cancer goes to our hearts, our heart space, how we feel about things, and says that from my heart space, I am activated to make change. It's wonderful to feel all these feelings, but also feeling feelings can be difficult all by itself, or it can be very exciting. It just totally depends. It just feels like a surge, a, a swelling of emotion that wants to express itself, that that needs the avenue, the space to, to talk to you. Your feelings, your emotions are telling you something right now. What is it that they're saying? So with Cancer, the Cancer New Moon, which, by the way, is being directly opposed by Pluto. Pluto rules the planet of or Pluto is a planet of death, destruction, transformation, regeneration, and our ability our ability to rise up from the ashes. Pluto is now retrograde and retracing its steps back into the sign of Capricorn. So even though we have this new moon and this potential to start something wonderful, to set intention and to plant seeds for this new beginning in this space within our lives that is nurturing and supportive of us, and to initiate change, good change, positive change that we know will feel good, that we know will be good. At the same time, directly opposing that, we know that we have to break free or free ourselves from any type of shackles, things that res that restrict us, that hold us back, things that compromise our, our ability to feel powerful, to feel significant, to have, to have higher self-worth. When Pluto is retracing its steps back in the sign of Capricorn, this is like a broken record. It's something that we've already lived through, something that we've already experienced, something that we've already heard time and time and time again. We thought we broke free from it, and then as soon as this planet started retrograding back, we said, listen, you did live and you learned, but now it's time for you to even more apply these lessons. We're not going to let you get off so quick so soon. So what do you do with these energies? When you see that there is a triggerization that is happening, meaning like you are faced with a choice that will maybe potentially lead you back into repeating a past pattern, realize that you have the strength, the power to make a change or to make a choice that is in the best interest of your emotional well-being that supports you, that nurtures you, that honors you and gives back to you. And that may be something that you haven't experienced yet or that hasn't been generous with you, but the choices that you make now as you are being confronted by this opportunity, again, this lesson to learn and to do differently, it can provoke a lot of emotional response, but if I was going to say anything to you, I would say choose the path that is most most nurturing and supportive of you and over you because that's where this new moon is trying to lead you to, or to, to and towards now. The other thing that's really standing out to me as I'm looking at the charts is the fact that Venus, the planet that rules our, our what we desire, what we look towards, what we love what we want to invest our energy in because we're attracted to it she is still squaring off with uranus uranus is still transiting through the sign of taurus this is going to confront and challenge a lot of expectations that we have of others and a lot of expectations that we have for ourselves it will even um unrelated but still very much relate like still something that you need to receive right now it will be a kick in the pants for your wallet or your spending, making sure that your priorities, this is a 
huge theme that's been coming up lately. I've talked about it ample times on my YouTube channel to really watch your spending and saving for a rainy day because a lot of energy is, is going up and going down. It's very unpredictable at best. So you need to at least plan and prep for that because it can, it's not something that you can look at and be like, okay, this is something that I can count on. Having said that, what is in your best interest when it comes to your emotions? Do you trust that if something gets ripped underneath you or if something, some of you guys are ample quitting your jobs. There is a lot of energy within this chart that says I need to separate myself from this because I am literally disgusted by this or this is not my energy. This is not what I like. I don't feel good in this. I don't feel thriving. I'm not attracted to this. Venus, when it rules attraction, it's not talking about just relationships and who you have a crush on or if you look at your partner and you're like, I still think you're hot, although those things are important too and Venus will show that as well. It's also what we are gravitating towards with our energy, what we actually feel called to, towards that we like and then Mars gives us that drive, that, that ambition, that kick in the pants to say, okay, you're attracted to this, I'm gonna go after it, I'm gonna chase it, I'm gonna secure it, I'm gonna make this happen. Now, Mars is currently transiting through the sign of Virgo, and Virgo is very particular uh, and pays attention to detail. Virgo, as we all know, is known for striving for perfection, but it's not so much that perfection that you want, it's just a higher standard, a higher quality that you know will be wholesome to you. You know that you need it to survive, to feel, not to sur survive, to thrive, to feel good, to be healthy, to have balance. So there's all of this strategic placement of these planets right now, super divinely aligned, super synchronistic, that's saying, listen, we really want you to look at this, to observe it, to see it, and then from this space, from your heart and from your intuition, choose to choose to walk down a different path. And for many of you guys, this is going to be very, very difficult. It's gonna be very challenging because you may have invested so much of your energy, so much money, so much resources, or so much faith into this path working out, only to then come to this pivotal moment, this fork in the road, this inevitable crossroads, and say, okay, from here now, what do I do? And I want to say that as I'm looking at the charts, this is very, very normal. This is very, very inevitable. I'm also looking at the vertex point sitting in the sign of cancer at the time of this new moon saying that there is some faded, beautiful blessings and abundance that will come from you choosing what your heart feels is right for you. You choosing to nurture this energy. You choosing to nurture yourself. You choosing to fight for your heart, to fight for your feelings. You can't show up in the day and be depleted at the end of the day and feel vacant, absent, empty. You know, th those are energies that the spirit, our angels and guides simply will not allow for us. They, they it won't allow it to, to manifest for too long. That's why when we have this highly emotional new moon that is ruled by this cardinal sign, ruled by our water, our emotions, our feelings, and even our intuition, feeling the energy of the room and saying, listen, I, this is either for me or this is not for me. Whatever it is, I can feel it, I can sense it, I know. Having said that, the part of fortune, the part, the, the, the placement within our zodiac or within the astrological charts that says you can find your greatest source of wealth and abundance is literally sitting in the sign of Scorpio. Sitting in the sign of Scorpio, and do you know what that means? That means that the energy of Pluto is even more amplified by saying that if you are willing to let go, if you're willing to let go of control, if you are willing to free yourself from the shackle, if you're ready to transform, if you're ready to expel this, to release this, to push it out and to move forward, that's where you're going to find the greatest sense of blessing. Go deeper with this. I understand that superficial, shallow the shallow side of every single one of us that says, this is what I need to do, this is what, how it has been done, this is how it has to be done, throw that out the window. Throw it out the window because your heart, your intuition is being inspired by the messages, the words of the divine saying that if we depart from our usual, there is an unusual blessing that you will find here. And one last thing that I'll say to you guys, like I said, Venus ruling what we're attracted to and the vibe 
squaring off with Uranus, Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus, totally dismantling tradition, okay, is saying, listen, the more that I follow my heart, the more that I listen to the intuition and the vibe here, and I prioritize under the lack of light of this new moon because the new moon is a dark time. It brings in a lot of energy of stillness and us being quiet within ourselves at our sacred space with no one or with the people that we trust the most who are okay and can honor that stillness and can honor that quiet within our sacred ritual. When we sit with ourselves, we say, you know what? All of this is worth it to me and I, I, it doesn't need to make sense to me. I, I I allow myself to be led through this. I allow myself to trust. There's so much, again, there's uh, taking that step back and dis, it's not even disconnecting, it's reconnecting. Essentially, that's what it is. You're reconnecting to your higher self. You're reconnecting to your heart, to your intuition. That is going to be where the biggest blessings come from. Okay, last thing I'll say, I, I know I'm long-winded sometimes, but you guys know I'm very thorough. I like to make sure that you guys are supported. I'm wrapping you up in these big blankets to know that you are not alone in this. We are here together. Um, so again, Mars transiting through Virgo, directly opposing Saturn, Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces. This is saying that our the action that we have to take might feel very uncomfortable, might feel very foreign, might feel very new, but it is intuitively led and inspired, may define our, may defy our intuition. I'm sorry, it may defy our logic, but it's led by our intuition and trust, really root yourself into the energy of the divine, your higher self, because you're the divine and your higher self will never lead you astray. It doesn't need for it to make sense to you in order for this being the, the very thing that needs, that needs to be um, done, right? Also, last, last thing I promise, there's this emphasis on the energy of freedom. There is a huge emphasis on the idea of freedom. What does freedom look like for you? That is a huge question that I really want to ask you guys to really sit with under this new moon. Now, cancer, as we know, again, is in the home, it's in the hearth, it's in the heart, it's by the fireplace. That's beautiful. Freedom can be found there too. What does, what does freedom look like for you? Freedom is your ability to move at your own leisure to do what you need to do without any complications or risk that something will be taken away from you because you didn't know, do what was expected of you. What does freedom look like for you? I also want to encourage you under this new moon, this Scorpio energy part of fortune is, is very much here. And that's where we're going to find our, ble our, our blessings and our gift. Also, the North Node is in the, in the very new, the first degrees of Taurus. So this is how we root ourselves. This is how we stabilize ourselves. This is the new territory. This is the new chapter. This is the new life. And in order for us to create this space that is sacred, this new home, this new, this new nourishing space, what needs to be confronted? Stop avoiding that. Really look at it. Expel it. Release it. With <clears throat> Oh my God, for some of you guys, throat chakra. I literally, I'm trying to talk and I literally started getting choked. That was crazy. Some of you guys need to speak out. Some of you guys have been holding on a lot for too long and it's time for you to speak your truth. That was the fact that I just got choked like that is spirit saying you need to speak up. Some of you guys need to ask for help. Some of you guys need to express your opinions or put it out there, whether it's received well or not, it doesn't matter because you're advocating for yourself. You feel intuitively called and led to this moment, this place, to, to call out to the universe, maybe to even to write petitions, to work your magic, whatever it is. But there's a lot of throat chakra energy here that's coming through and saying, now's the time to speak up. Have the bravery, have the courage to, to ask for what it is that you want, to say what it is that you need to say, to do what it is that you got to do. To And don't worry about it being per perfect. Just make sure that you, you get it out. That is also... A huge message here, um, you know, as I'm looking at these planets, and don't forget that Mercury is only is just soon going to be turning retrograde. So now is a wonderful time to speak out. And when Mercury goes, oh my God, the scroll! I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> 
I, I, this girl just jumped onto the pole and like slid down like a beautiful stripper. Like she just is actually, a, she's a, it's a girl. I know the squirrels that live on my property, but she jumped on the pole. And when I tell you she spun, like it was like, she's trying to hold on, but it was so artistically done. This girl just killed it on the, the pole. And now she's on the hammock. Now she's going chill. Sorry guys, super distracted, super distracted right now. A lot of distractions. Um, but yeah. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna leave it on that note because clearly um, spirit has spoken. I've interpreted the chart big time here and we got <laughs> uh, super distractions. I wish I would have been able to get that on video. I, you won't even believe that that just happened. Um, oh, one last thing, one last thing before you click out. Um, number one, like this video, but number two, there's a beautiful trine that's happening in the charts as I'm looking at it and there's something that will be birthed, that will be created by this faded moment of honoring your heart, honoring your feelings, from challenging the norm, breaking free from restrictions. Um, it, for some of you guys, it's contractual agreements, things that you're like, oh, I'm obligated to do this, I have to do this, or maybe it's not a contract, maybe it's a, a mental contract that you have signed yourself to that you're like, I, I have to do it this way. This is the way that it's got to be. Some of you guys, it could be marriage. There's something about something that you write almost like blood and ink. You know what I mean? That you you signed your name at that dotted line and you have to fulfill it. <clears throat> at what cost? Because Scorpio, part of fortune, this is where this trine is coming from, says that something here might need to be broken in order to free yourself because this is oppressing you. This is holding you back, whether it be a relationship, a mindset, a way of living, habits, lifestyle, um, a, a job, whatever, fill in the blank. I, I, you know, everyone's different. So please, please be good to yourself. Thank you for allowing me to show up as my full self per usual, always authentic and moving with integrity here. If you need me, I am here. I'm absolutely going to be working my magic for this Cancer New Moon. As you guys know, I'm Cancer Rising. This is my time always to be at my altar. Cancers, Cancer energy, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, and depending on where I'm at in my life, then I'll sprinkle in the other zodiac signs. But those are my main times where it's like, where will you find Jess? At her altar working her magic. So I will be working conjure oils <clears throat> and fixing candles for you guys, of course, and also for myself. So that's available. Please keep in mind that everything is in very small amounts now because it's way more, I'm slowing down in my life. Definitely slowing down and, and not trying to show up in all the different ways. I'm sure you guys have sensed that or heard me say that recently so i'm not going to do as much as i normally do it will be first come first serve there is videos on how to work um intention and conjure oils on my youtube channel also on my website especially also to um fix candles so you'll be able to find that there in the meantime you can find me again at bahadilife.com and any social media platform at Bahati Life. please be aware of people scammers presenting themselves as me showing up saying I'm reading your energy right now and we need to talk. I'm not doing that. I promise you I'm not doing that. Um, report them as needed. Don't panic, just report. And then we'll just move forward. It's anytime when there's a light that's being shined brightly, there's always these little bats that kind of, you know, find the bats and moth, moths that find their way to that light and want to capitalize off of it. So everyone has their own story. I'm setting the intention for protection and discernment over the group here now and forever so thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me i hope that this message again reached you with perfect divine timing i want to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the thumbs up button because it's really a blessing to my youtube and i'll see you guys in my next one